everybody, it's Dana Dave here at PAX East 2018 and I am with Alyssa, how are you guys? And Abraham. And we are going over Battery Jam. So if you don't mind, can you, uh, well first, what's your role in the game and what do you do? So uh, I'm the gameplay designer. We're a team of three people, so everyone wears a few different hats. So gameplay designer basically means that I do some of the coding, uh, a lot of the game design itself, and most recently I've been working on getting the AI up and running, getting them in there so the people who don't have friends around can play it on their own. Okay, so t tell me a little bit about Battery Jam first. Uh, Battery Jam is, we call it a competitive territorial mayhem game. Uh, we usually tell people it's like Bomberman meets Splatoon. Uh, so it's very uh, combat-driven territory. It's very colorful. It's a, we wanted to make a party game that people could just pick up and play with their friends, but also a game that had enough depth that if you, you know, sat down and spent, put some time into it, you'd get really good at it, kind of like Super Smash Bros. Um, yeah, it's, it's come a long way since we started working on it. That seems cool. Here you go. So, Abraham, I've had actually a few seconds of playing this game, and I had actually a few questions. Um, where can we find this game in the future? Like, when does it come out? What can you tell us more about it? Anything that you can't really. Uh, so the game is actually out right now. It's on early access on Steam, and it's on sale during PAX for $8. Uh, and we are working to get it 1.0 complete by May. Uh, and then we also are working on getting it onto the Switch. We don't have a release date yet, but hopefully later this year. Okay, that sounds good. Um, what else, like an age group, is it Is it for children or is it for adults or is it for everybody? Like, what, is there like some sort of sensitivity involved with this game or no? Um, when we started to design it, we were really designing something we wanted to play, and we're in our early 20s, uh, mid-20s, but uh, we've watched kids play it and pick it up way faster than anyone else, so I definitely think that it, it works in younger age groups. We didn't really design it with one in mind, but I would say um, maybe eight up into the 20s. Um, yeah, anyone who wants to play a fast-paced party game. Okay, thank you. Okay. So uh, another question is, what are the different kind of modes? Like, is it all that like what I played? We played so far the mode where you take out each other, it's free ball, get as many tiles you want. What kind of other modes do you envision or have planned? Uh, so originally it was just the mode we're showing today, which is just the uh, have the most tiles when time runs out. But recently we added a patch into the game where you can mod a lot of the stuff. So you can change it from a timed match to get a certain number of tiles the fastest. You can also change it to just being a deathmatch game where you're just trying to kill people. Um, and you can do some more like fun things, like you can turn the tiles invisible so you don't know who has what tiles and it's just a guessing game. Or you can have a ton of explosives and just make the whole thing a crazy experience. Um, so yeah, right now we have those games. Uh, the plan is mostly to have a deathmatch mode and then the... Uh, the um, area control mode. Do you guys have a plan for the characters? Like, do, are they going to have special abilities? Or are they all going to kind of just do the same thing right now? Because right now it seems like they all kind of do the same thing. Um, are they going to have, like, like I said, special abilities? Um, we get that question a lot, and the simple truth is uh, we didn't want to get into um, asymmetric game design, so I, you're trying to make sure that everyone is completely balanced. So. For the foreseeable future, the, the characters are just going to have the same ability set, but we definitely try to push their identities as far in their own directions as they can so that people who like one character over another can, uh, can really feel like they're investing themselves and so making sure they have unique animations and wind poses and music. They each have uh, a unique wind music that plays when you win with that character. Um, my favorite's Rocket. It's always been Rockish. Thank you. Right, that's pretty cool. So, uh, what inspired the art? I know you mentioned like Tron and things of nature. Like, what was all right, Robert Man for that matter? Like, what inspired the art style? Like, they look like little robots in a sense. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a funny story actually. So, uh, Brandon is our um, 2D artist, our concept artist, and he has a few um, interesting tastes. So, when the first when the name first started out, it was actually uh, a little bit grungier than it is right now, and a, a big inspiration was third wave ska music. And the robots had instruments on their heads and they had checker patterns, uh, and that's where a lot of the dancing and the music comes from. But when we started to look at the game and where we wanted to take it, we realized that it felt a little bit too much like a rhythm game and we didn't want to give players the wrong impression. Um, and so we went back to the drawing board and sort of redesigned all the characters. Uh, and the new inspiration came from another one of his, uh, his great passions, which is uh, sort of racing games, and specifically like futuristic racing games like the Wipeout series. So he actually designed the characters around being like these very sleek uh, performance machines. You know, like the game is supposed to be about a futuristic sport, and he wanted to make sure they all looked like 
futuristic athlete robots. It's very clean. Well then, uh, where can we find social media board and where can they find your game and more information? Uh, so we're on Facebook, Battery Jam Facebook, Battery Jam Game on Twitter and Instagram, and we also have BatteryJam.com if you want to go check it out there. All right. Well, thank you very much again for the interview, and be sure to check out Battery Jam, guys.